हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई एम नीलांजना सुनियाल वेलकम यू ऑल टू माई चैनल एन एस ऑनलाइन मैथ क्लासेस और टूडे टॉपिक इज चेंजिंग द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ लॉग एटमिक इक्वेशन सो विदाउट एनी फर्दर डिले लेट एस स्टार्ट विद टूडेज सेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द रूल रूल सेज फॉर चेंजिंग द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ लॉग एटमिक इक्वेशन कन्वर्टेड टू एन एक्सपोनशियल इक्वेशन फर्स्ट एंड देन डू द नेसेसरी मॉडिफिकेशन according to the question given okay so now coming to the question make x the subject of the following equations or following logarithmic equations question number 1 log x to the base 3 equal to y 3 is the base x is the argument and y is the product or result it is the bap because it is a logarithmic equation rather and we have to convert it to an exponential equation should so it will be the bpa form the base will remain the base the p the product changes to the power so y will be the power and x the argument becomes the answer so it will be 3 raised to the power of y equal to x and in case you are confused you do not know what are these bap and B, bpa terms I would definitely be asking you to watch my videos on the conversion of logarithmic equations to exponential forms or conversion of exponential equations to logarithmic form. And in case you know the conversion, you don't have to bother about what are BPA and B BAP rules. Okay, I have just explained the conversion using those terms. in case you have confusion in this conversion process i would definitely be asking you to watch my videos on the conversions and i'll be giving you the links to those videos of mine in the description area or i I'll, i'll be adding the cards as well but in case you know how to convert don't have to bother bother about these terms bap and bpa So three raised to the power of y equal to x. X is already on one side of the equal to sign, and since x should be the subject, it is just the convention to write it on the left hand side of the equal to sign. We write it as x equals three raised to the power of y. This is the answer for question number one. Coming to question number two. Log two x whole raised to the power of two equal to five y. and we have to make x the subject therefore we have to take the square root of both the sides first of all so it is log 2x equal to plus minus since we are taking the square root we should be having both the plus minus for the answer so it is either log 2x equal to positive square root of 5y or log 2x equal to negative square root of 5y okay we are having two exponential equations so we will sorry two logarithmic equations rather so we have to get or we should be getting two corresponding exponential equations and you see over here no base is given you don't have any number in the subscript whenever some the subscript part is missing in the log term you are having log and no subscript is given you have to assume the base as 10 okay whenever you are having this term log you will be having another part of logarithms that is the natural logarithms where the base will be e but for that you will not be having this term log you will be having ln so we we will be coming to the natural logarithmic part Uh, log uh, natural logarithm part rather later on but for now it is just the log and the if the subscript is missing the base is 10 when the base is 10 we do not write the base 10 explicitly just like we do not write a coefficient of 1 explicitly we do not write the base 10 explicitly okay so 10 is the base the argument is 2x and the 
product or the result which will become the power is either positive square root of 5y or negative square root of 5y. So we'll be having two exponential equations. One is 10 raised to the power of square root of 5y equal to 2x or 10 raised to the power of negative square root of 5y equal to 2x. And we have to make x the subject, so we have to divide the entire equation by 2. So it is x equals half times 10 raised to the power of square root of 5y or x equal to half times 10 raised to the power of negative square root of 5y. If you graph this equation, you will be seeing, if, if you graph this equation and these two equations, you will be seeing that these two combined together, the graphs of these two exponential equations combined together will give us the full graph of this equation. Okay? It has to be because from this single equation, we are getting two exponential equations. So these two when graphed together will be giving us the entire graph of this logarithmic equation. Okay. Now coming to question number 3. Log y to the base square root of x equal to 6. Square root of x is the base y is the argument which will be the answer for the exponential form. And 6 is the product or result which will become the power of the exponential form. So we convert it to an exponential equation and it becomes square root of x raised to the power of 6 equal to y. And we are having square root of x rather we have to have x. We have to make x the subject. So first thing that we can do is we can write this third form in index form and how can we write the third form in index form what will be square root of x in index form it is x to the power of half so it is x to the power of half whole raised to the power of 6 equal to y and 2 is in the denominator 6 is in the numerator using the law of indices e to the power of m whole raised to the power of n equal to a raised to the power of m times n. Okay? So we are doing this. x to the power of half whole raised to the power of 6 is equal to x to the power of half times 6. So 2 is in the denominator and 6 is in the numerator. So we can cancel them. And we have x to the power of 3 equal to y. So we can take the cube root of both the sides to get the x as the subject of the equation and it is x is equal to cube root of y. Okay. Since it is the cube root and not the square root, we should not we, we do not have to take the plus minus sign. Okay. Only for the even numbered roots we take the plus minus, not for the odd number roots. Okay. So it is x equal to cube root of y. So students, this brings us to the end of this session. Please like, share and subscribe if you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching this video till the end. We meet again very soon. Till then, bye.